you're probably not ready to go back to school, but you can at least act like it. What's one of your goals for this school year? I want to look cool for back to school. Well, there's no need to worry. I'm here with Allie's guide on how to go from geek to chic for back to school. I will have you looking flawless and fashionable in no time. Hey guys, it's Allie and I'm back with a new YouTube video. Today, I know it's sad I'm starting my back to school videos. But by the time I post this, I'm not sure if it's going to be closer to school than when the time I film it because I just really don't want to start back to school videos in the beginning of August. So today's video that I have for you guys is how to go from geek to chic for back to school. Now this is a disclaimer that no, you don't have to wear makeup to look pretty. No, you don't have to wear these certain clothes to look pretty. I'm just saying how I get ready for back to school and what I do. This is like my routine for back to school. But when I woke up this morning, I looked disgusting and I was like, oh my god, I should just go from geek to chic. So that's what this video is for you guys. So I'm not going to babble on anymore, so let's hop into the video. One of the most important things you can do for back to school is fix your outfit. Now, I'm not saying to dress to impress for anyone, but it is always nice to make a good first impression when going back to school. So I swapped out those low-rise shorts for some high-waisted jeans and some white flip-flops. Then I just took a little flattering shirt. And your outfit is complete! Now we are going to be going on to makeup. Now there's no need to worry, everyone has their own makeup routine for back to school and a lot of people don't even wear makeup. Now makeup is by far not a necessity, but if you're looking for a routine to follow, I'm going to be showing you mine. Personally, when I do my makeup, I do wear contacts. Now these are not my normal contacts, these are actually colored ones. Aside from that, the key to having flawless looking foundation all day is to have a primer. When I do my foundation for school, I tend to use a lot less than what I would normally use just so that it doesn't look cakey. Another thing that I can't stress enough is please blend your foundation down your neck. If not, you're just going to look mismatched and weird. And when concealing your eyes, keep it to a minimum just so it doesn't clash with your foundation shade. And make sure to set that all with a translucent powder. Now what I'm doing... <laughs> so now I'm just baking my under eyes to make sure that it lasts the entire day. One of the most important things that you can do while doing your makeup is your brows. Brows basically determine your entire look. So this is the first time that I'm ever showing this on my channel, but I'm going to be showing you my brow routine. First, I'm spraying my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Chocolate, and I'm just going to be applying this. A lot of people, when telling you to do your brows, they say not to outline your brows first, but I find this as a really good guideline on how to get the perfect shape. Another mistake that people make when they're doing their brows is they tend to make them too thick. And I know I shouldn't be talking because I'm very guilty of doing this, but I find it easier to make them thinner once you get your eyebrows waxed before you start doing them. You don't want to make them too thick, but at the same time you don't want them to be too thin. Just give them a shape and a size that will suit your face. Now how to achieve brow goals is you need to clean up your brows once you're done doing them. So that basically means you need to apply concealer under and over your brows to carve out the perfect shape. And something that really changed my brow routine is applying clear brow gel after doing your brows just so they hold throughout the school day. And right now I'm just brushing off the extra powder from baking. Now 
Now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. I always start with a nice neutral color first, and then I start applying browns usually for school, just so I get some neutral colors in there and something that's very versatile with a lot of school looks. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow, I cannot preach this enough. Please blend. You do not want bold colors of any sort just sitting on your eyes. You really need to blend it out. Also, go under your eye on your waterline to really make the look pop. And a nice eyeliner wing always makes me feel classy for school. Now, this is something I would not recommend doing all school year long unless you have extreme amounts of patience and are willing to get up a little extra earlier every single day to apply falsies, but they look amazing with looks and I would do them for a few days for back to school, but not all. And when you do apply falsies, don't forget to use mascara to blend your original lashes in with the fake ones. Now going back in with my face, I'm going to do a subtle contour look for back to school. You do not want to have something so bold and not blended out and looking orange when you go in. Here's a tip for a highlighter going back to school. Use a fan brush because typically the lighting in your school will either make you look too ashy or just not glowing enough. So use a fan brush to minimize the amount of highlight that you are putting on. And girl, make sure you set that look with some setting spray. And here is the finished makeup look for back to school, but we're not done yet. Whoa, easy there. So, you do not want to go into school with a low, messy ponytail. It's just something you don't want to do to yourself. So, what I'm just going to do with my long hair is I'm just going to straighten it. And with this final part, our look is completed for back to school. Alright guys, that was this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because I post more videos like this. Comment down below what other videos you want to see, what other back to school videos you want to see. I hate those words. Anyways guys, I will see you next video. Bye!